relationships, the things that are and the things that ain't. <laughs> um, join me in welcoming my panelists as we give our insight on one of the most complex, misunderstood, non-agreed upon topic. I'm Lady T. Everybody, can you guys, can you, I'm going to have you guys do it this time because I usually introduce the panelists, but we're going to start on the left, right? Introduce yourself and give the people a uh, a fun fact about you. Think um, about it. Hi, I'm Miles. Um, fun fact. Um, I love audio and music. Okay. Does a fun fact have to be about dating or just in general? I mean, it could be dating, it could be general. <laughs> okay, well, I'm Hendel. Um, fun fact about me. Um, <laughs> I was married and divorced by... <laughs> By 23. Okay. Listen, it's life. I can't wait to hear your perspective on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to introduce yourself? Everybody knows you already. Oh, no, no. They know me. Hey, okay. guys. <laughs> I'm Victor, and fun fact about me is uh, I like eggs. <laughs> I feel like that was in a movie. Amanda That's from Amanda Biles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I've heard it before. Yeah. I know I heard people know that reference, but you know, if you do, you're cool. It's getting a cool point with you. Okay. Scrambled? Scrambled, fried, preferred omelet, you know? Okay. Sunny so side up is nasty. Yeah, it's what about over medium? Uh, anything with circle in it, to be honest. Circle and eggs? Don't judge me. I I'm just <laughs> right I mean, but essentially, <laughs> if it's by pancakes, like. It's gonna run, right? I try to separate the eggs. On my eggs. I have oh, okay. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Caught salt, pepper, that's it, and cheese, if anything. I take the cheese. Listen, that's real southern. Anyway, that's something we can't agree on a little bit, right? Yeah, so, eggs. first question of the panel, right? What, how can you define dating? That's a strong word. <laughs> it sucks. Okay. It's, it's fun though, but it sucks. It's fun, but it sucks. Okay. Yeah. Miles? It's, I, I think it's fun, and you have to make fun of it. You gotta enjoy, you gotta figure out ways to enjoy it. And, yeah. I feel like, yeah, it, it can suck, but it only sucks if you think about it. Yeah. If you make fun out of it, then it's always fun. Okay. The half, the glass half empty, no, half full. Or the half full, half full, and half empty. Okay, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Trim it down. And I think it also depends on if you're dating with a purpose, if you're dating just to date. Exactly. That is a big If you're with a purpose, it can be more like, oh my God, I can't find somebody, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, I just feel like you can still, still, still make fun out of it. Okay. So, we are going to leave the people with that little nugget to think about really quick as we fix some of the technical difficulties. Action. Oh, that was good. That could be a good action. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to I everybody just, who was. Just went up. <laughs> that was a good action. Welcome, everybody, back to Ladies Who Let's Talk About It. We are talking about relationships, what it is, what it ain't, and everything messed up in between. Uh, right before. We had our technical difficulties. We were talking about what is dating. And we got that it was trash, that it just it just ain't. It is what you make it, right? Um, why do you think it's so hard? I feel like people limit themselves in, in a box where, hey, this is who I'm interested in, this is all I'm interested in. And that's who they stick with. Okay. I feel like sometimes you need to branch out and explore things you might not be not, 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 might not be normal to you, but still could be a possibility. Okay. Hmm. So what? Why is dating as trash as it is? Because half of this generation doesn't know what they want. 
that's the main thing. And then you see what you want on Instagram, but you're not gonna get that in real life. And then you go like this, but you not see this. See, but dating is trash because of social media too. Because people think that that's social, anybody on social media, they think, oh, they have a great relationship. When really, you don't know what's going on behind the camera at all. There's a lot of things going on behind the camera they don't know about, but everybody posts their best on Instagram, mm-hmm. or Twitter, that or is Facebook. Facts. Do you think relationships that keep that in mind that it's you know people post their best do you think those relationships have better success no it's just they are just popular for what they post that picture might look amazing because they're in paris but that'll make them different than the average joke down the block okay yeah they just they just look prettier, I guess, but they don't mean they have a relationship. They can fight every day. They want to be the relationship. Exactly. What people see on Instagram, but they look I mean, like they, fun. Or they could be actually having fun. Exactly. They, you, don't, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. They but they might, but one thing what attracts people is the looks of the people that are mm-hmm. in the photo, but also it could be fun of itself. Just because they're on vacation in Bora Bora, that'd be the only vacation they do in 20 years. But now but when I go to my man, I'm like, I want to go to Bora Bora <laughs> next month. <laughs> because everything was on credit. Right. Exactly. Everything was on credit. Yeah, we find I mean, something. that's facts. That's facts. So, what is your ideal first date? Walk us through from start to finish. And we were just off camera <laughs> talking about dates and... The guy said that it's an expensive sport, right? I don't think it's sport. Cause they can't sound like he's going through them. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is an investment. If I say it's an investment. Which I'll be going through them. Who? Who is y'all? Whoa, 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 whoa. Men, I feel like, go through a lot more women than women go through men. I mean, for it to be expensive, clearly you're dating a lot of women. No, but it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's because, <laughs> let's say, the, let's say I'm going on dates with, let's say, three women out of the seven days in a week. Okay. Whoa. Right? That's a lot. That is excessive. Oh, oh my goodness. It is no, now a sport. A it's not a sport. It's no. just that's who I'm... When do I'm you inter- work? That's just who I'm inter- entertaining with. It's who I'm dating at the moment. Who, how, how, why is there a, 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 a cap on who, how many people I can It's date? not. But that means you're going through well, a lot quicker than we go, guys. It's not sport. It's, I might be texting these people at one time. Oh, so I'm giving a date so once one at the person. most a week. You said what? Oh, mm. last question. Well, so why why can't you date three people? He can. Oh, I'm saying because like if you just invest all this time and money into one person and then it doesn't work out, you're going to invest And now triple it. You're investing into three but why, people. But why, why put all your eggs in one oh, basket? Because <laughs> if, you, like, if you're oh, dating three people, you're giving a fragment of yourself to three different That's people. Fragment. I'm giving a woman I'm You with can't this be giving your whole. Because I'm, I'm, essentially... When I'm with this person, I'm with them. I'm dating them. I am, we're out on a date. I'm interested in you right now. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Maybe on Wednesday, I'm thinking about this. I don't know. Is this... <laughs> so what female you know is going to turn down a date a dinner date that's paid for. I've turned down numerous dates. Uh, well, well, I know a couple girls are like, yeah, I'll take some free food I've anytime. turned down numerous but dates. If I'm, not, intentions, so it's like, if I'm not interested in you, I'll have a conversation. That's a fact. But back, back to the question of ideal first dates. What is, Miles, um, what is your ideal first date from doing, start to finish? Doing something, doing an activity. So, um, I would love top golf. So, top golf or bowling is my oh, ideal because it's interactive. <laughs> it's yeah, it's money, but again, I think of it as an investment. So, but it's fun. It's an activity. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it's a competition at that point. So now the people, you know, trying to creep each other. That and you know, you can get good food, good drinks. You know, well, golfing, I guess, or bowling. Mm-hmm. You know, those are my any like activity. And then some at the end. Maybe it's actually at the end. You know, I like sweets at the end of date. So. Okay. As in like ice cream. Fiddle yeah. for the ladies. I'm what actually is? on the same path with activities. My ideal first date is always Dave and Buster's. Mm. I love okay. Dave and Buster's. And then it yeah, also right. got what? food and alcohol and stuff there too. But that's too loud for it. like, oh my goodness, I was just having a whole conversation. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's, and then it's I get to see how competitive you are. Exactly. It's just fun. And it's, it's like, I think the co- competition is fun. Yeah. Because okay. at the end of the day, even let's say the combo okay. might not be the greatest, the competition kind of can make up for that, in my mm-hmm. opinion. And then think of it like this. You go on a date with someone that's super boring, and you only get one side of them, and then by the time you want to go out with them, you're like, ugh. I can't even be out like I can't yeah. bring them around my friends. I can't go she out with them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Victor, what's your 
what's your what's your uh, ideal first date? I'm a simple guy. So anywhere we can have conversation. I'm over like dinner and a movie. I mean food can be a part of it, but let's take a walk maybe or do something. Um, I don't know about talk off on the first date. We can go, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I feel like, like, chill I, type. I, I, like, I feel like after like the first date, maybe that's where I want like like the second, third date. I might be going some more quiet, more mm -hmm. like you intimate. know, more intimate, more okay. like, real. Like I'm like that first date. If that what 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 I call a first date, a good first date is if I'm interested you the whole time and I keep on I, I want to talk to you again. I keep on having I, I want to continue the conversation like till the next day or whatever. And that's where I'm like, okay, now let's go to some intimate so I can really get to know you. Okay. Cause that, that first day is kind of like uh, the, the uh, icebreaker, well, in my opinion. Uh, around the park after. Yeah. That's I just want to talk. Just talk. Get your vibe. <laughs> if I get your vibe, then we can go to Top Golf. I'll drop that dog on you, or you know. Whatever. So you wanna? You think the intimacy should be first? The kind of to see if you wanna invest in that. Yeah, it's hard to catch somebody's vibe when you're in a club or everybody else is around you. No, not you. a club. Yeah, yeah clubs are just like clubs are dead. Yeah, it's not it. Or, I feel like an old person. But yeah, an icebreaker though. You do have that have breaks that ice breaker. for, like, mm -hmm. you know, you're not like, damn, this is so intimate. And the first, like, you know, it's kind of like, a, let's have some, let's do some fun. Because then the next day, it's kind of like, okay, let's let's actually talk and vibe and see what's, and see if you're worth doing a third date on that, right. you know? Okay. I feel that. So, our next question. What, can you define the various staging, stages of dating? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... It's the talking <laughs> stage where it's like, <laughs> we're like we texting, we texting, we ain't talking. We texting, you know, we're trying to. This is look. This is let me let me say this. This is the big difference between women and men because I'm gonna tell you something. If I'm spending all my time with you, and I'm starting to spend my money on you, and you come around my friends and my family, we're in a relationship. That's it. A relationship. I'm like, well, yeah, it's like we're in a relationship. If I'm married, I mean, yeah, I'm a relationship. Family. Yeah, it's going family. What's going? Family. I was about to say. You know, my family. Family is when the relationship stays. That's that. But if we're Mom, dating, what was your rule? I'm telling you, men will literally be like, oh. "I never actually asked you, so we're not in a relationship." No. <laughs> if I came around your mom, I'm your girlfriend. Wow. So back to what you <laughs> what, what if I do, what if you get my mom off at the grocery store? Oh, that's different. You if, know what so I mean. If, I mean like if, a, if I you home, home. Yeah. if I intent so Miles, what was your rule? If I intentionally bring you to meet my mama, I'm I'm invested that's in the long term. That's like that's I like this is this is it. Mm -hmm. Like of course he ain't lying you, you, Of course you can meet my mom all of a sudden. If I'm if I'm on my way home class grab someone at my house, right. but I didn't drive my mom in the driveway. Then mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna not introduce you, you know, who I'm with. But that's not that's not it. If I can you say, come to my house or let's go out to dinner with my parents, mm -hmm. I'm invested in you long. This is, this is long term. I'm, I'm I'm invested in this. That's How just many people? Two. That's just that one. Yeah. So he dropped the he other two. About three. Yeah. He talked about so, three, but now he's down to one, y'all. So. So. <laughs> How many people have met your mom? One intentionally, like yeah. purposely for the long only one. I have my girlfriend right now. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get back to that because Miles has an amazing story about that. Cause this man, he catches flights. Okay. <laughs> Miles catches flights. See, Miles, where is where is girlfriend now? Uh, Nashville. How often do we go see her? Oh, she don't um, live. Wait, 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 wait. She lives here, but she went to school. Oh, okay. How often do we go see her? When we Previous... pulled up that flight, that flight <laughs> list. Previously, from. August to December, it was every week. Every weekend. Miles takes a flight every weekend to go see his girlfriend. You gotta do what you gotta do to make it work. Right now, it's like every other week. Maybe put, uh, like twice a month. That's, That's why you're talking about top, uh, top golf on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen. Just, like, what you think? What you do for it? I mean, it's so, so, so it's back to making time. Like if I'm like That's for example, so here off jump when before me and my girlfriend started, talk, talk, started dating, we were well before we late relationship at the moment. I guess we can say that when she went back to school to uh, when she was in Florida, I had the second week. It was it was within two weeks when she left out to Florida. I was on a flight out to see her again because I was like I want to see you again. Like you were here for the summer, we were having a great time. Did you pay for her flight to come see you? So I I flew her out to see me. Okay. 
But she's in. But to me, to me, I yeah, this is home. This is home. Okay. Right. So it was me like, okay, you're in school. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be in your space because you're in school. You need to study. Mm-hmm. You know, this is med school we're talking about now. So you you gotta be studying all day. Yeah. Day, you know. So. And it's expensive. So and so I and said, okay, I want to make it seem like it's not long, like <clears throat> long distance. Mm-hmm. I want to cut that gap, but also, I'm making time. I'm making my time to see you. I have a question. Yeah. How long y'all been dating? Right now, it's been a little bit over. A year. It's been a year and four months, okay. six, five months. I can't remember. Oh, we doing all this in But I, I was flying out before. We like year. her though. I, I, I was flying out before. Doing all this within a year, bro. That's love. Making time. No, it's not. Well, yes, it is love. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is We're love. Wrong. But, he, he should be doing. But it's, it's like We're wrong. it's like I, I like, I really liked like her. her. I wanted to Let's see her again. If if I wanted to see her again, because I had to fly out to see her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I wasn't letting a flight stop me from going to see her. I was like, I want to see you again. I'm making time. I'm going to go. That's very selfless of you. But I mean, we're also at that age. I just heard you put a time limit on it. That's what I'm saying. We're also at that age where some people are getting proposed to within the year. Hello. You know I mean? So it's I'm going to baby showers and <laughs> bridal <laughs> parties. And I'm in two weddings this year. Like, mm. no. Where? <laughs> my, my year don't work like that. But, you know, everybody's situation is different. So, I mean, that's, that's true. But I think, not a but, I think in our generation, it's already hard meeting people as it is, like friends and other people as it is, like, you get it how you get it. If that's how, like, a long-distance relationship is what mm-hmm. they have, and that's how they make it work, boom, that's cool. And it it's not ideal for everybody. Because, like, for me, I don't have a job where I can just do that every weekend, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, your job makes a difference. Your money flow makes a difference. I think what really speaks, what I think really pops out with my situation is that effort from a man to do mm-hmm. this. You know what I mean? Like, he will sacrifice some weekends being with some friends to go see her. Or Plenty of weekends. Like, with Miles, I know <laughs> so we got to, I got to tell Miles ahead of time, like, all right, this, this is what we're doing. I'm going to tell you, give me, give me a time and date, and I'll put my calendar. So that I'm, Cause I'm, otherwise, I'm, cause she gets what? She sees my calendar too, and she sees there's a, an event in there from a month ago. It's already known, you know? So And that's the thing, when you if you don't put that that time in with Miles on Thursday, you'll see him at Reagan National <laughs> Airport, <laughs> and he'll be teleworking mm-hmm. on Friday. Yep. So this Thursday, that's where I'll be at. Tennessee. I'll be in Tennessee I'm this Thursday really afternoon. Break down the difference of in dating. I'm like talking. What is the difference between dating exclusively and in a relationship? So, dating is supposed to be I think it's like okay I'm just I'm still we're still hanging out but I'm hanging out with just you I'm wasting my time in you the relationship is like okay you know this is same exact thing ah, you just said see yeah exactly. okay now I say out loud you're right, you're right. <laughs> I mean the stages of dating but so like actually can I show you this what the, what it's like said as what the stages are it's so it's blurry it's a gray space because yeah. essentially back in the day you had but dating where and that's the different people you were mm-hmm. talking to that you were entertaining, uh-huh. then you had an exclusive relationship, uh-huh. engagement, and marriage. Now we got situationships, we got the talking stage, we got the texting stage. Um, you you have so many. So at what point do you have to become exclusive, or is that a conversation that I, needs to start? I, well, I, I think it depends on the gender. It, well, it also depends on relationship too. Listen, so because. I, we me and my girl, we didn't have a talking period. We were like, you know, hey, we're down there exclusively. It's kind of like it just happened. Mm-hmm. It just happened. <laughs> it, like it, it wasn't. Like, we didn't have a. Didn't. We didn't talk and say this is exclusive, but we kind of knew it was kind of like it, was, it just flowed naturally. Sometimes it was like, okay, I think it can be that a, that mutual agreement of so, Hindle, just like you said, if I'm meeting your yeah. parents, we're in a relationship. That the difference or the singularity with Miles, he was like, okay, you meet my parents, like. It's setting, I guess, those standards on the front end. So, but I, I have a friend that tried to just date and not have that conversation. But then when she went to have that conversation, they weren't on the same page. And then they stopped talking. I think that's oftentimes how it yeah. happens. It's like, we're, we're going through the flow. We chill. We're hanging out. And, and then what is that flow? And I can't say, I tell my mom, I'm talking to someone. She's going to look at me like I'm dumb. She's like, what is talking? 
So <laughs> just, uh, Listen, that but that I feel like flow, up front you gotta you gotta know. Stupid. I feel like up front, I from a friend actually one of our one of those mutual friends in Nashville. What he does up front, he's like, hey, this is what it's what I'm. It's not one. This is what my expectations are. Okay, so what is what is talking? Let's break this. Start at the beginning. What is talking? For those talking who believe in talking, it's just showing interest and just talking about it, just to figure out do I really want to not go on a date with this person? So can I talk to other people at the same time? Yeah, because I'm talking to them. Yeah. Hmm. For real. Okay. I'm gonna remember that. Because because you <laughs> because, you know because you're you're, you're you know you are. You are trying to figure out, do I, you know, I'm all about not putting all your eggs in one basket, mm -hmm. you know, at that beginning stage, you know, you gotta figure out who you want to really like now go on a date with, go out to see this person, you know? So okay. talk is kind of trying to understand who you are a little bit, trying to see, are you worth my time? Mm -hmm. Now dating is when you, you go and say, hey, you know, I'm going to meet you now, I want to, let's start hanging out and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Okay. So real quick comment check. Jamie said... That Miles is invested. She put invested in caps. Invested. She is she is so, with Miles. There's no okay. questions on that. He's invested. <laughs> <laughs> and I praise him for that. He, he, he gets Listen, that. she also says we're getting older. We're not wasting time anymore. And that I think that goes to what we were talking about. About it just sometimes it happens how it happens. Like mm -hmm. I met somebody when I was in St. Croix for Carnival. Like that's mm -hmm. a whole. That's a whole flight away. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then things, you make it happen if you want to make it happen. Was that love at first sight? Was that love at first sight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're in the comment check real quick. We'll oh, get okay. there. We'll okay. get there. Okay. <laughs> Just thought I asked. It was definitely a it was vibe. A, it was a vibe. You caught that vibe? <laughs> you caught that okay. Actually. Hey, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> we caught that vibe. No, actually, depending on who you ask... I'm bad too. All right, 50. Damn. That's your team. They're laughing. Hey, call me off guard. Push a guard. But, hello? Get it together. Get it together. Listen, so, in this order question, depending on who you ask, I bagged him. We'll talk about the rest later. But, I like that. Ladies, shoot your shot. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about that because that's a thing as well. I'm but, say it again though. Shoot your shot. Oh, no, mm -mm. ladies. Dejan said, "I feel like it needs to be said. Don't just assume you're already in mm -hmm. a relationship. If we're exclusive, both parties need to know." Um, wow. Cheryl said, "I need to know if Miles got an older single uncle." <laughs> you got an older single uncle? No, they all married. I think. Yeah. Okay, question yeah. for you. Question, question for you. I'm sorry. She Dang. might be wake up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, question for you. Are most of the people in your life, like aunts, uncles, or whatever, do you have a good idea of marriage? Or is most of the people in your family? Yes, married? so. Um, I think that makes a difference. Most, yeah, so, majority difference. of people, I would say, majority of them are still married and they have a good sense. Like, even my, my, my parents. Are a good example, you know. Um, Your parents are still married. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I, I you know, I still have a I good, and that's I think that's why I support marriage, you know, and I'm all for it. But you're right. I, I think it does go back to having knowing like if people in family are mm -hmm. you have if you have a good idea of what that looks like. Yeah. So I don't have that um, from a guy's perspective. My parents were divorced when I was four. My dad remarried and divorced in a year. Yeah. So it's like. I don't really have good examples of marriage. So. Wait, I don't think you can let that judge your future. No, definitely not. I'm, no. I, I'm so not saying. But, do you but, see? Do I marriage? see marriage in my future? Yeah. I mean, do I like see it right now in my twenties? No, I still like. Mm -hmm. you, you're, you're we're still. still I'm still growing. I'm not talking because I'm dating right now, <laughs> but um, I'm saying like I'm still trying to get myself together so I can be the best man for whoever so I want to be with. Okay. I like that though. I agree with that. So but <laughs> Sorry. Agree. Come on, Chad. We like it. But do... Okay, so the girl that you're with right now, do you guys live with each other? Yes, we have a kid together. So if you live with each other, you have a child with each other, you guys know each other's finances, everything that a married couple knows, what's the problem with getting married? Dang. <laughs> like, 
that's a good question. Because I'm already I'm already kind of committed. That's understood. Kind of. So you taking a dump off? Top we're going wherever she want to go. Right, and if she watching this, we're going to top go. off tomorrow because I don't want no <laughs> problems. <laughs> I mean, but that's that. Listen, but no, nah, but she, she, makes, she makes a perfect sense. Um, We live together, finances are together, we got a kid together. I'm pretty much committed, but I didn't take that step to be committed. Um, That's part of myself. It's part of us growing together even further. It's, and we're still trying to figure out stuff together. So. I couldn't understand it because it's like, you know, I yes, you are committed, but... For me, I want to make sure, like, honestly, I want to make sure I'm ready, at least financially and mentally, to say, okay, I'm ready to fully leave. Well, in my case is different. Right, that's I'll, what I'm I'll with, I don't live with my girlfriend anymore. And you don't have the, a kid with Correct. your Correct. So, your but even still, to his point, you want to make sure that you are ready to say, okay, now we are <coughs> legally, like, <coughs> together and, and, and within God or whatever, if that's um, what you believe in, but... That's that part of being prepared for that is a big thing for a man, at least in my eyes, to make sure that hey, I, yes, I'm committed, but I need to make sure I'm good on my end right. before I, I can bring you into thing. this and say, you know, we're now officially married. I think that's one, I think, reason that a lot of men and women do have that disconnect, though, is men think more financial. Like, I want to mm-hmm. be ready to take care of her and do this and do that or whatever. Whereas women, if you think about it from the beginning of time, when you're born, what do you, well, not when you're born, oh, but married. in the beginning of time, you get a Barbie, right? Barbie has a kin. They are married. When you play games, not as much now, we, you used to play house, right? Mm-hmm. And there was a mommy and a daddy. Like, we're more conditioned thinking that way. Like, as you're getting older, you need to be able to iron so that you can, well, so that you can not. <laughs> but... I, but I think that's something that's brought up. You know what I mean? Like, you need to learn how to cook. Hello? Hello? Production team. Get some water. But you need to she learn how to cook so you, can, <laughs> so you can take care of a family. Like, I think we just have, we've been brought up with different goals. Yeah. With men, they've been brought up to think, you need to be able to. But then that goes back to, why would you not pay for a first date? Oh, we had a conversation earlier. If you're trying to show that you're a provider, then why would you not start off with showing your provider? I have to start off showing my, I'm I'm a financial provider? Yeah, if that's what your reasoning is for not getting married, then yes. No, that's not my reasoning for not getting married. Okay. It's not, I mean, I mean, yeah. But no, I don't think that applies to a first date. To me, I don't think. I think for me, the first date really is. Is this to get your attention? But is I'm that not, show I'm not of. Show. I, for me, I think it's that show of interest, yeah. if, if you will. Like saying, I want to. For pursue. me, I see it as I want to pursue you. Yeah. I want to kind of invest in you. Because knowing how men think, that's like, okay, they're willing to do this. Let me, let right. me meet them where they are. Right after. First impressions mean everything, and I would be lying that if I right. was expecting to go to a, on a date and then the check co- or the waitress comes to me and goes, "Oh yeah, separate check." <clears throat> I would literally be like, "Well, that was the first impression that you can't take care of me." Okay, so question: When y'all living together, is it fifty fifty? My dad ain't bring me up that way, but I mean, I could talk like that. That would be something that I would <clears throat> compromise with my whoever my husband is. But my father brought me up that he paid for everything. My mom paid for like. Like the utilities, groceries, and stuff like that, but like the rent or mortgage, my father paid. He so was not. But that's, that's also cultural. That's, not 50, 50. that's like 70 30. But you gotta also well, think, what's your mom? What's the what's taking their finances? Care of us too, though. Yeah, so that's the that's their compromise. Oh, then yeah, in that case, absolutely. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I think, I think he was saying, like, I think he's trying to say, <laughs> is it do the man pay for everything? everything. Like, he does, or yeah. is it, I think you said it wrong, 50 50 is wrong. Do we split certain things? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think. That's where you, the the way you said it was weird. So I think, do you expect the man to pay for it all now, or mm-hmm. do you expect, or do you see yourself in the future as I understand I can split different things? Mm-hmm. Like you pay for this, I pay for this. Is that kind of what you want to do? In the oh future? yeah, no, or, I, do you want, or do you expect a man to pay for it all? Like we were saying earlier, I believe in gender roles, and mm-hmm. I want like I I will cook for my <clears throat> husband when he gets home from work. Mm-hmm. I will take care of my kids. I'll do all of that, and I'll pay some of the bills. But for me to go 
50-50 on the bills and then also have to take care of my family. No, mm-hmm. I would expect my, my husband to hold on to what his role is mm-hmm. and I'll hold on to what my role is. But I would never be like, no, you're supposed to be paying bills. <coughs> so what if you're making more than him, though? <coughs> it happens. That it happens. happens. So then that, con- that conversation So now I gotta take care of, I gotta do everything that I was doing I prior to and pay more because I'm making more because I chose that route to, to make more. Uh, you could... To carry more of the bills and you take care of the kids. Okay, then no, no, no. The, the, the general so rules stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. Stay at home, you dad. I'm just kidding. Stay at home, dad. Stay at home, It's all on what. It's all on what. How your situation works and whatever y'all do to make it work, I'm all for it. So if the dude, need, if somebody needs to stay home because all the bills can't be mm-hmm. paid on one, do it. But right. and I think that comes with conversation though, and yeah. I think that's yeah. one thing that maybe our generation doesn't do. You know what I mean? And I think. Especially that conversation could stop a lot of the stuff before it happens. Of course. The the expectations, the Mm -hmm. where you are in life, if y'all are on the same page. I think we don't have these kind of conversations Mm -hmm. before we sleep with somebody, before Mm -hmm. we, you know, get too deep with somebody, before we have it. I mean, but that's facts. Like, it's, it's our reality that we're doing all these things before a conversation. Because I think I see so many men and women who have babies with each other and then can't stand each other. Why? Y'all loved each other at one point in time, but y'all didn't have these real conversations about mm-hmm. are you going to get your children vaccinated? Are you going to, like, raise them in a certain religion? Like, yeah. we don't have, like, cultural differences. It's, it's, that's it's, big stuff as well. It's a, the little conversation that is just simple. How you want to bring your kids up <clears throat> That could be different, so I mean, but it's already too late once you have a kid. That's all right, because I think we need to build on what we used to talk about on the phone, because I know in <laughs> middle school, high school, you'd be on the phone with a boy or a girl, and you're like, mm-hmm. what would you name your kid? Like, oh, we're going to have a kid, their name is, you know, whatever. We, we talk about that cute crap, yeah. but not talking about... That's that matters, though. It, that, it does, other than the names. The names, is, I feel like, is least. So, yeah, Victor, not, okay. you yeah. brought it up. You said something about a situation. Right? Situation. So there's this concept out there called a situationship. Mm-hmm. What do you think that is to you? When you get into something that you don't really know what you're getting into. So if you didn't have a conversation about what we're going to do, what my intentions <coughs> are, or what you're actually looking for, and y'all just go with the flow, or y'all sleep together, y'all haven't had this conversation, y'all are already into a situationship. Doing everything that everything. a relationship, relationship does yeah. without the title. Yeah, exactly. So we sleeping together, and now it's like... <laughs> Now what? Like, are we dating? Situation? You dating other people? You don't know. So that conversation needs to happen. So that or conversation. It's gonna stay, it's gonna stay, yeah. Or you're serious? Or do you even want to date? Or you just out here trying to have fun? Date. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's all um, if if you do stuff before that conversation, you're in a situation ship already. I feel like. Okay. So why do you think? Because I think we all kind of agree on what that is. Why do you think situation ships happen? Conversations like no like communication. That. Exactly. Yeah, so no communication skills. You know, one person might say, "Hey, I want to take the spurs and be in a relationship," mm-hmm. but one person is like, "I'm good. I, I didn't. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready." And they always say this, but y'all are still interacting like y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend, but y'all don't have the title, like you said. Text mm-hmm. every day, so more exactly. Text. But there's it's, it's like what you know, know it's a constant. Like, what are we, what are we, because y'all didn't talk about or y'all didn't understand or set expectations of what y'all wanted getting into this. Yeah. So even, so I would even say it goes to the first date. Y'all can get to the first date, cool, y'all there. Now the conversation happens. So what are you looking for? Are you actually looking to date or are you yeah. just out here trying to be out here for a free dinner? And now, now it sucks because usually one or the other doesn't want the relationship. And so the other person keeps playing into it because they really like the person. And, now in the and, and, and they think they can swing mm-hmm. them and change them when really, Mine's already made up. Not, so <laughs> you know, whose, whose fault do you think it is? Whoever don't bring up the conversation. Mm-hmm. Whoever, I think whoever, partly whoever thinks that they can change a person when they already told them what their expectations were. So <laughs> if, if you go in and say, you know, I can probably swing him or swing her or whatever, you're the one that. I is think that then it should be the conversation should be. Like, what is your mind or what is your mindset behind that? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, Victor, just as we talked about, you may not have a, a, um, like a married, um, example, but what is your, what is your thought process on married? You know what I mean? Because essentially I feel like, and I can only speak from a female's perspective, but 
like as females, I think we think we can change a man, right? Mm -hmm. So a man says, oh, I don't want to do this, right? But instead, I think you can inspire somebody to change. So maybe if you have somebody in your life that shows you something different than maybe you've been accustomed to, you'd, be, you'd want to change. But mm -hmm. a woman also has to know they have to be inspired to change. Like, you're just in their life. And I don't think we're vocal enough as women to say, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. I don't want a situation ship. I want a relationship. If we can't, we can just be friends. Can I interject really quick? Mm -hmm. So I also think it's on the man's part because men have misleading words and misleading actions. So a man will say, mm -hmm. I don't want something I don't want to be in a relationship right now. By you tacking on right now makes a woman think, okay, well maybe not change. at this moment, but it's gonna That's change. Nice. Yeah. Which makes a woman keep trying to pursue the person. Not only that, I have like I'm close to somebody that I call him toxic all the time because he will tell the woman like I don't want a relationship but then we'll go to her house and cuddle with her all night take her on dates constantly texting her and I'm like you're giving her the idea that you want to be in a relationship but then telling her you don't I've, so I've been that guy I've been that guy and I look back and I was like damn we actually like had a whole relationship but we didn't have a title <laughs> and I was like we was spending night every day texting every day hanging out but we just didn't have that conversation, so what are we? Or I didn't say, would you be my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. As old school as that is, but it happens. But I think there's- But it shouldn't happen. But I think, you know, as we're, we're having these conversations, there's something to the old school way, if you will. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I wasn't alive back in the day, but I just <laughs> feel like some of the same stuff that we have happened, but there was a lot more conversation. So you knew that you know, so and so was with so and so. If they cheated, you knew that it was an actual cheat. Mm -hmm. Like they, it was, we have a lot more gray space. I feel like Snapchat. <laughs> I mean, we we Just have gray Snapchat. space. We have social media. We have a whole lot going on that makes dating hard. Like, and how do we? And my efforts and how do we fix it? It's lady T. Let's talk about it. But <laughs> like, cause females, we don't know like the mindset of a guy. You know what I mean? Like, just how you said, Victor, you used to be that guy and thinking back on it, and now you can move it. You know what I mean? But, so, I'm, I'm gonna say this. So I was that guy, but I would say I'm not looking for a relationship, but the female thought that she could change me by playing that female, that wife role, like the cooking, the cleaning, I'm gonna do all this stuff for him, show him I can do this stuff, thinking it's gonna change my mind, but I told you from day one. Were you accepting it? Yeah, and that's where my fault played in. Because I was not, I'm like, you could be like, nah, don't do that. Cause mm -hmm. Don't do that. I don't want that. Yeah, you're doing too much. Like, yeah. you're doing too much. Just, just keep it going. But, you know, some people want to overstep that because they think they're going to change. And 95% mm -hmm. of the time, they don't do that. <laughs> so, if you, like, if you were in a situation, what would be your step by step? Hold on, we got a long one. <laughs> I gotta check this comment real quick because the Sabian, aka Mister, yeah, I beg to differ. The Sabian says, "I think a man has to allow a woman to feel how she feels and not talk over her and invalidate her feelings because sometimes men don't value femininity in a woman's presence." But I don't think we can try to have the old school type of dating because it perpetuated a lot of patriarchy then with patriarchy when we live in a more liberal time in social society today that was my fault but i feel it i feel it i feel like i need to reread that i probably do <laughs> have to reread it that was a whole lot now, i had a comment but then i lost it because i didn't really know what direction you was trying to take it but but what about uh now i'm gonna, I'm gonna reread it so reread it uh, single man has to allow a woman I mean, he was, I mean, the comment was kind of, I think this is an accentuation of the situation ship. Okay. So that was a response to that. Okay, what about the man's feelings, though? We talk about women's feelings all the time. But men do, got feelings, too. Men don't, men don't vocalize their feelings. Huh? Said who? You, you might be an emotional one. I am very emotional. But most <laughs> men 
they, they, myself. I want to go hard while I sleep. That's good. Yeah. That's how it should be. But most men compartmentalize their emotions. And how many men actually vocalize their emotions uh, in pretty, a non-toxic way? Okay, that's the difference. I mean, you. So <laughs> yeah, so, so so guys have to work on not sounding like somebody's dad. You know, just be like, this is how I'm feeling. I don't want to belittle you or think that you're not doing anything. But this is just how I feel today. Just hear me out. Yeah. I'm be honest. I was dealing with a guy that told me his emotions too much. Men aren't allowed to have feelings. It, That's toxic, bro. It, it, it's un, it's unfortunate, <laughs> but it, it honestly like too. turned yeah. me off. Like I'm like, oh, am I dating a woman? Feelings. Like, he was like, it was like every day he felt something. I'm oh, like, see, and oh, you just put into what the Sabian said. The Sabian said because women view it as weak or sensitive. So yeah, I, but I, I mean, I like you have to have a balance. Though. Yeah. You have to have a balance, balance because even a woman shouldn't be like bombarding you with her feelings every single day that's a problem you need to talk to a therapist sweetie like and same with a man he shouldn't yeah. be telling me his feelings every single day it's not like i'm trying to say like he can't have feelings but like my goodness like am i doing anything right now so no, no, okay well, so it depends what he's expressing so if he's coming to you like babe i feel feeling pressured i have a lot going on at work we that's have fine. this household things so, i'm talking about that type of feeling not not like so babe, are we talking no, about no, are we talking that's about that's fine that's like, now, you're not talking about the whining shit i'm like oh just stuff that actually matters yo i'm stressed out i can use you some help be. around like well, that's the type said. of feeling you should do that because okay. then though if that's uh, like the woman in your life she should be like all right well this is how but, we're gonna fix it yeah. but i feel like your partner should be the person you should convey those feelings to <laughs> <laughs> I feel like your partner should be the feeling, should be those feelings you should convey those to. Is you know, because every day, I, I'm, dealing so so, so, I'm, I'm dealing with every day. So, so I'm dealing with every day. There, there is. The, I understand that there is where it's so much where like, I can only do so much, but I don't think at that point you're not happy with me anymore. That's what I'm gonna take it as. If you're constantly complaining, if it's like okay, so if it's, it's complaining about, then yeah, I understand that. Not happy. But if it's like you know, hey, I feel down. I'm doing blah blah blah. That's something that should be. Accepted by the partner, and you also you should help. Because if, sure. if you if you guys sure. are in this this partnership together, whether it be your relationship or you're married, whatever it is, you sh they should be you both should be comfortable with coming to each other as their therapist in a sense. Because I I want to I I'm coming to you so you can help me out, and I feel the same going both ways. I think there's balance. There, there is a balance. There is a balance where it's too much, but. Be that shouldn't be at a the turn end of the day as well, it, you know. every day, like, one, you are with each other every exactly. day. So you're going to see, you're going to experience that kind of stuff with each other. So my thing is, if I see Victor and I'm like, dang, Vic, you know, what's going on? You're looking like you're not the same. Mm -hmm. Then that's a conversation. Yeah. I think that's a little bit different than him just coming to you as a therapist. But yeah. more so, we're having a talk like, dang, you've been stressed about this. This was on your mind. And because I think... As women, we should make it a safe space for men as well, because their feelings are just as valid. And I think when they aren't heard, they lash out in a whole completely different or way. Or they find somebody who's going to hear them out. No, because all women are the same. Remember, so they're going to do the same thing to you. Who said all the women next are the woman? Same? The next, you said women don't let men be so, like emotional. So then the next woman, you're going to complain to her, and then she's going to do the same thing too, not let you be emotional. Then you go go to the next woman. Uh, I don't know about. I wouldn't say all women are the same because I've had. Women, but, I've had some women that have turned me out more than other ones. And I've actually had some women like, damn, you look down, you okay? And I'm like, damn, thanks for asking. I think people have different styles of communication. Mm -hmm. well, so, like, and, different, mean, and, and different ways to receive communication. Yeah. Too, like. I think that's, and I think that's important, whether it's relationships, friendships, situationships, <laughs> like anything, like that communication and mm -hmm. how we receive and give stuff. Because I know I've been in some situationships where we weren't in the space to like the person wasn't in the space to receive what I was trying to give mm -hmm. and it just didn't go well mm -hmm. or we weren't in the space that I could articulate at that time and I think that's the important um I think the Sabian just said no Laura said vulnerability is a sign of trust it depends on what it's about nagging and pillow talk is different mm -hmm. I think that's facts, that's facts. the yeah. Sabian said because of stuff Builds up and it becomes toxic, toxic, and both uh, resent each other. Uh, his comment before, but a lot of communication is better than no communication. That is true. 
Um, you don't want me walking around here angry all day. Justin says, Lady T, you want to transform thug? Absolutely. <laughs> like, somebody who's had a life, and then, like, now they're, like, a softer thug. That has feelings. <laughs> Sounds like Feelings. I mean, <laughs> a balance of feelings. Like, not too emotional. We're, like... You crying during movies? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's okay. It might have just well, struck okay. the nerve. I mean, what, it depends on what movie. It can't be that's like Lion King. Like, no, I would even. I would laugh. I would just like, baby, you okay? It's like, <laughs> that's bad before. But like, but I, I can't, can't be Lion King, about, like, but it could be like heaven is for real or something. Like, yeah, and nagging that. is a form of expressing your feelings. It's just the delivery is comes off yeah. as nagging, but that's yeah. still expressing your. Yeah, but constant nagging about even if you are coming home and saying work is like stressful. Once you come home and you say that, and I say, okay, well, this is what we should do. And then you go do the exact same thing and, and come back home and be like, work is still stressful at that point. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you're nagging. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, because I, I gave you my input. You chose not to take it. You, you're doing the exact same thing over and over again and then coming back to, to bring it up. Yes, at that point, it, unfortunately, I'm going to start being like, all right, you know what I'm going to tell you? You should just tell me to get a new job. Okay, what if I said that? You didn't quit. You went back to the job, came home, nagged again. But he paying the bills, though. <laughs> okay, but so then I'm going to invalidate you? your feelings. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, Listen, okay, so. I don't know. In all of that, we're talking about bills. We're talking about, you know, we're past situationships, right? We done got out of our yes. situationship. Is marriage a yes or a no, and why? Yes. Yes. <laughs> don't feel passionate. <laughs> don't feel passionate. Because he definitely thought about that. No, nah, I mean, he it's just not. Um, we'll see where it go. That's a goal of mine, so yes. Okay. Goal by when? Um, I don't have a time limit in my okay. head. Then in that response, I yeah, marriage is then. I don't still have a time. Okay. Like, I can't say I want to be married by 30. I'm 26 now. I, mean, I, mean, I, could, I could, I'm just saying, I just, I don't want to put a time on it because anything can happen. I mean, you shouldn't put a time on it, but you are in a good situation. But you should happen, also it have... Be, it wouldn't be bad. No, but I can understand, don't, don't put a time limit on yeah. it. I say don't put a time limit on it, but I definitely think men need to have some type of plan. Or you can at yeah. least propose and be like, babe, give us three years before we have the actual age. So I have some... I, I, but that's I a agree. conversation on a second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I agree with marriage. Because I, I have be some a friends. Hello? I have, I have some friends that do not believe in marriage. I have a lot. And I have a lot. Uh, so their their explanation of it is, why do I have to get married to show my commitment with my partner? Why why do I have to do this legal? Like okay. why like where where they say, hey, if, why do I get married to show that I love somebody? So I've been married and divorced, and I will say, and I still want to get married again. Um, and I married my high school sweetheart father of my child, someone I thought was going to be my, like, forever. And I'm glad I married him because, one, it was fun. It was so fun just being with him all the time. And we didn't live with each other until we got married. So it was fun having my spouse with me all the time. And then not only that, it was so difficult to get out of the marriage. Like, we we had, but the thing is, is we had to go to counseling. And I like the fact that it wasn't easy to just call it quits. We had to do things to make sure it's really what we wanted to do, to really split up. And I, I I, like that. I like that security, knowing that if stuff doesn't work out with me and you, we have to go jump through hoops to get split up. It's mm-hmm. not just, you know what, I don't want to be with you anymore, and then it's really done. All right, so what intimidates me about marriage is all that that you just talked about. <laughs> but if we can't, but the thing is, like, it'll me. get to that, though. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you really want to, I'm still, I ended up getting divorced. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> So, yes, it, it takes a lot to get out of it, but you'll get out of it if you really want to. That's but not it's what like, what am I going to lose? Like, she could take my house, she could take the Well, then you could that. go, th- you could talk about that. that prior to. What about and prenups? You can have a prenup. Okay. If, that's, if you feel like you bring <laughs> okay. up, if you feel like you bring a lot of assets to the table, have a prenup then. There's, I would personally not care if my husband said that because I know what I'm going to bring to the table. And if he's bringing just as much as me, that's fine. We can split it up or whatever you want to do. But in my case, we we came to terms on our <laughs> we came to terms on our own that we weren't splitting nothing. Everything that was his was his, everything that was mine that was mine. And then that was it. And it was okay. So again, it all depends on the person you marry. Because if a per- the person you marry is very understanding and cares about you, because of course I still care about him, I'm not gonna put him through hell. Let's just let's just end it. Let's be on good terms for the sake of our daughter and end it. I've heard some bad situations. I was gonna say that's not that's a very mature yeah. situation about it. I think for I think definitely the African American community and then even more our generation, we don't have those examples of what it's like to 
work through marriages. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, we call it quits real quick. We're like, mm-hmm. oh, somebody cheated on me? I'm done. Like, mm-hmm. oh, somebody did this? I'm done. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I definitely think all this kind of stuff happened back in the day, but you had Aunt Ethel and Uncle Mike who were married for no, 60, know. 70 <laughs> years. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't have... <laughs> Listen, we can't get into the, the actual uncles and us. But... Um, like, they were married for years. There was infidelity. There may have been a child out of out of the marriage. They like, rocked it out. stuff happened. They rocked it out? I've seen, like, yeah, at my I've business, seen I've, seen I've seen a lot of married couples come in, and they're like, oh, yeah, we've been married for, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. you, they, work, they work it out. With all them That's what my godparents have been married now for, like, 36 years, and she said it's, it's a constant falling in and out of love the whole time and it's just you constantly working through it so, but she wouldn't she like she's so happy she's still married to him. so i just heard this recent story of um <clears throat> this um, one of my friends their parents were married they divorced uh she was a stay-at-home mom and uh so when the divorce the dad had to leave the house she got to stay in the fit house with the kids he still had to pay the mortgage but he wasn't living there child support on top of child support oh. She's a That scares the hell out of me. Like, you didn't have all this. Everything was cool. They was married like 20 years, but then when stuff hits the wall. He clearly had a but big that, salary because the courts would do that if you have a good amount of money, and that would probably go so to Okay, so but that kind and of then stuff he allowed her to be a stay on the mom. So that was, that's, that's, that was his question. Mistake. Why does it child support matter on salary when, for example, Here's what I think. I think <laughs> this that, one's easy. Bring it on. Here's what I think. Okay. If I make two hundred thousand dollars a year, okay. right? And oh, one guy makes twenty thousand dollars a year, and one guy makes fifty thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Just because one guy makes more does not mean it takes that much more money to take care of a kid. Facts. Well, that's that's true, but it's a percentage. And you usually give a percentage of, so the more money I make, the more I spend on my daughter. That's but, just what it is. I'm going to get a bigger so house the more money I make. you want to value a person? Yeah, because, because okay, of how so much they make? Do you, if you have 50000 let I me can, ask you this. If you have 50000 a year, what type of house are you getting? Hey, Jay, what's up, Jay? But, so, but, 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 but it doesn't matter about a house. No, it is because child support is supposed to go towards the taking care of your kids. Exactly. So, 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 so if you have, so now, for example, who are you to clock her pockets if she's the one that's spending all the time with the kid, giving a Emotional support, financial support. Don't clock her but pockets yet. Don't pay her broke and your nails is always done, though. But again, okay, it doesn't matter. You know that she used your it money. doesn't matter. I was about to say. How do you know, know she used your say, money? You can't claim broke. But how do you know you... I'm but broke and guess what? My nails are always done. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you should be a dowdy. I don't think you should. I mean, I think in that a, case, a, though, a kid on to my salary because it can, it takes just much money to take care of a, take care of a kid if you make fifty thousand dollars a year or hundred thousand dollars a year. All right, but okay, it so doesn't matter how me, much money you make. Let me say this: so if you make fifty thousand dollars a year, nine times out of ten, the percentage they're making you give the kid is not enough. So, the, 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 this, this, this is my this is my how I how I view it. Then, I think there should be a. A, a range about how much money you make to 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 kind of say how much money you give to child support. Yeah. If you make more than let's say sixty grand a year, then it should be a standard amount that should be given for child support. If you make under that, then I can understand where you, you don't have enough money to do this. I understand that, but if you make sixty grand or above, I feel like you should be a standard amount of child support. So let me ask you something. For whether you make sixty grand or two hundred grand. Let me ask you something. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Because, listen, now, Hindle, you have fans, okay? <laughs> so, Courtney says, percentage, which a whole lot of exclamation marks. She said, I'm over here screaming, yes, Hindle, <laughs> like she can hear me. But So, but, but, Courtney, it, definitely it, chime in on that. But I don't understand this because I make more money. Does that make, me does that mean that you can't take a... Like, okay, I, so, so let's say you're making a meal, right? Mm-hmm. And your, your child's uh, mother is making 50K. Okay. You're over here living a lavish life it while she's while she's living 
paycheck to paycheck to I take care of her. But I'm giving you because I'm she's still capable of financially so, taking care of the kid. Exactly. But how does it look that you're over here on yachts every weekend while she's literally living that paycheck to paycheck and making sure that's not how it works? It doesn't matter. Why? Why do you have? If we're separate, if we're separate, then why do you have to not live less how I live? Because I have to give you more money to take. Because the kids should be living the same life you're living. That's my point. But just because we're separate, because if the mom is still taking care of the kid well yes, without I'm, money, I will give then you, why why can't I'll, they live the same financial life as their father? We chose so you so, chose so, not to chose be here. separated. No, and, and, you, no, but look, 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 we chose separate, right? <laughs> we chose to separate. You you have you chose or got one custody of my kid, mm-hmm. so that that kid's out under your roof. Well, listen, that, 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 listen, that, listen, 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 but wait a minute, you want that? You want the custody, right? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. That's literally what you wanted. Let me just drop the mic. Let me drop the mic. Let me drop the mic. Guess what? That's the law. It ain't gonna change. That's it. Nah, that's, oh, and, okay. that's, and that's why females Period. take abuse of the child support. That's exactly. why it's such an easy time. Because okay, wait a minute. It costs the same, oh, same, same amount of money. Hold on. Hold on. So, as entertaining as this was, <laughs> Yo, this is a lot. we what do have some to bring That's being in the room. What about sweat now, now. Sweat now. Now you, you sweat. You think he got kids. I don't think he don't got no kids. Only two of us got kids, y'all. Only two of us got kids. That's the thing. What? Hindle, yeah. Hindle and Victor. So, it looks like, and this always happens, we are going to have to have a part two with this same exact panel because we got some stuff that we didn't even get to. I don't right? have to pay child support, though. I don't pay child support. <laughs> because you're in a situation shit. <laughs> oh, my daughter lives with me, so. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But, see, cheaper to keep them. Oh, her dad pays child support. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's a real I'm saying. That's, no, that's a real saying, though. That a lot of guys live by that. They're like, it's cheaper to keep her instead of, I have three kids by her, now I got paid child support. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> it's <laughs> Listen, comment check. Cheryl said, Miles, you just lost the fan. And it happens. Off of child support. Off of child Off support. Off of child support that he doesn't even pay. He's committed. Are you He's committed and so? everything, but now child support. Listen, uh, Miles is taking flights to cool. Tennessee, but he win. not paying child support. We can't anyway. I didn't say that, though. I didn't say that. I didn't say I pay him. Listen, so, we're going to take a pause on this. Like I said, we're going to have to come back because this was quality. This was quality talk. This is what Lady T, let's talk about it, is all about. Perspective, opinions, insight, reflection, all of that good stuff. So, in conclusion to this one, relationships is something wild. It's, It's unnamed, it's untamed the most. We never come to a final conclusion. But I want us to go around... No, no, no. We ain't going. We ain't going to get final thoughts. That, this will be your final thought. Okay. Sure. My final. Okay. My final thought is. You take away. I'm. I'm seeing all these comments. Like this is a lot. Imagine actually being in a situation and then trying to figure all this stuff out. We're just four different people living four different lives trying to have this conversation, trying to get it to understand. Imagine being in a relationship and trying to figure all this out. Why you're actually going through it? This shit is hard, and you don't know it unless you actually go through it or been through it. You know, nobody really has answers. It's all what you think is best for the situation. Yeah. There is no right or wrong, but child support. You need to come to a mutual understanding with that. Man. I mean, and I think it's it's try to keep it outside the court. I would try to keep it outside the court and come to an understanding within the parents before you get the man in, involved. I mean, that is that I mean, is true. Yeah, me and my daughter's father have our child support through us, not through the court. Yeah, but. He knows that if he ever, because I know for sure that the percentage of his, I should be getting more. But I don't need, but that's the thing. I'm not asking for more. So we have our own. So he's he's doing. Yeah, he's doing what he's supposed to do based off our agreement. But if he slacks on that, then I'll go to the court and let you pay more. So I know a lot of females that know that they could be getting more without percentage. Like, oh, you got a raise? Let me go ahead and take you back to court and get that extra money back. And that's just like, do you need it or you just want to do it at that point to be spiteful? And I'm sorry. Listen, listen, listen. You go to a college fund. It could. So. We got viewers said they chest tight. Everyone should breathe and breathe out. Oh, this is one of my oh, favorite yeah. topics video. That's what should be. because of this, <laughs> right? So My price just went up. Yo. It did because you did a great action. So I want to thank all the people who are interacting with us on Facebook, on Instagram. Thank you to my panelists. We're going to have to bring this back. Um, we've learned a lot. We've laughed a lot. We've thought a lot. 
I encourage you to take these conversations out of this space, right? So um, seek counseling if you have an issue you need to discuss. But most of all, be open to new ideas and new perspectives. And I think that's something that, you know, we're, we're working on all together as a generation. Um, leave the bitterness and being jaded in 2019, 2020 is perfect vision time. Uh, we're thriving for healthy relationships in 2020. Mm -hmm. So, mental health. Mental health, relationships, all that. So, until next time, I'm Lady T. Let's talk about it. I'm Lady T. Let's talk about it.